governor wants millions more dollars allotted for security at Jewish state schools and religious institutions. It comes in response to last weekend's deadly synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. Governor Scott just held an election rally here in Jacksonville moments ago. News for Jack's reporter Elizabeth Campbell was there. She's joining us live from Trinity Christian Academy on the west side. Elizabeth. Well, Joy and Tarek, as you can see, people coming out behind me on Trinity's campus as the rally just wrapped up. And this rally for Governor Scott comes just one day after his request to make places of worship, including a church like this, safer in the state of Florida. I also spoke with people throughout the Jacksonville area, including those of the Jewish faith, and everyone is in support of his request. A police car outside of a Jacksonville place of worship. It's something you'll likely see more of at all religious establishments throughout the state. Governor Rick Scott sent this letter to Florida sheriffs and police chiefs. He asked them to provide each religious institution in their community the ability to request a threat and security assessment. He's also asking the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to meet with religious leaders at their request to provide information on keeping their members safe. He also wants the Florida legislature to double Jewish day school security funding from 2 million to 4 million for this school year. Rabbi Shia Hauptman, head of school at Torah Academy of Jacksonville, is pleased with this move. We can not only ensure that our students um, have an environment where there's a excellence in their education, their academics are growing, but on top of that, they're safe. The parents feel that sense of security, our staff feels a sense of security, and it really makes a difference. Others throughout Jacksonville also support the governor's request. You think that's a good idea? I think it's a great idea. It adds more protection for people. I think if we're keeping people safe, it's a good idea. Governor Scott wanting to send a message that violence and hate won't be tolerated in the state of Florida. And I did reach out to several of our local sheriff's office about this, and some that I've heard back from include Clay, St. John's, and Nassau. And they tell me that their counties have already been doing threat and security assessments with those places of worship that have requested them. And they say they will adjust accordingly if there is anything else they need to do to meet the governor's request. Reporting live from the West Side, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.